Out of my beautiful badges, Messi Coda back again with a quick tip. I was asked, how did I make these custom toolbar tabs in my editor windows for Messi's ultimate skill tree? Let me show you how I did it. Sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second. For this example, I've made two scripts, test script, and in the editor folder, test script editor. And in test scripts and mono behavior, I can drag it onto something in my project. And then you can see, look, test script doesn't have anything fancy at all. If I go to the editor and I open it up, it's just a, an editor of custom editor test script. And test script lives inside the messy house. So that I know which one it is. Here's test script. Yep, there's the namespace messy. So it's the messy household, not the Jones or the Smith household. And I've got my uninspect GUI override so that I can start throwing things in here. For example, my option one method will just draw a little help box that says one and it's a type error. So let's save that, pop inside Unity, and then if we click back on the examples, you will see we've drawn a little box. That's very basic, isn't it? So let's get rid of that. Instead, we want our toolbar. Toolbar, all it is, first of all, we've got a string array where we're going to say M tabs, what are the contents of our tabs? And my contents are just going to be option one, option two, option three, option four, which is easy enough to do. We also need an int to store those values. So let's say tabs selected. And I'm going to say starts off with a minus one, just to show you that you don't always have to start off with something selected. Oh my word, my head's going to explode. Yes, I know. Don't worry about it. And now inside our uninspect GUI, we're going to draw our tabs. Now I'm going to use a, a, a vertical layout group um, just because I, I like them and it just makes things very tidy. So first things first, we're going to say editor GUI layout begin vertical and I'm going to end the vertical uh, as well. End that vertical. Now you could put things inside it. So you could say it's of a type, so like of a, of a box type if you wanted to, to even give it a style. I mean, it's selection of styles that you can get from Unity, which is always nice. Now to draw the toolbar itself is really easy. You just need to remember that the toolbar cares about outputting in a, a value, an int. So a tab selected is going to be what's the output of clicking our toolbar. Give a layout toolbar take you to the toolbar, the toolbar. And we're going to say, what's the value? That's the selected value. What's the contents? It's the tabs. It's as simple as that, my beautiful badges. That's it. Now we've drawn our toolbar. If we pop back inside Unity, you'll notice we've got a toolbar that doesn't do anything. Wonderful. You also notice that underneath, we've still got that script that you see normally on a mono behavior. Uh, we can get rid of that if we go back in here. And we say, you know what? I don't need this. On inspect GUI anymore because you're only going to draw what I tell you to draw. There you go. Right on it. Now we want to have it function. So first thing, add a little bit of error handling because we started off with a minus one. So I'm going to say if my tab selected is greater than or equal to or greater than zero. So at least we've selected something in this list. So if it's minus one, if it's the default value, then we're not going to show anything. Otherwise, we're going to go through uh, and switch through the different values. Now, that's why I said switch. We're going to use a switch. The value is our tabs. So that's the, the array. And which one of our tabs? Well, that's the tab selected. And now we can sit here and create our switch. Now, the switch is easy because it's just a case of case of saying what the case is. Option one being our first case because that was taken from here. Option one. And then we're going to do something such as show me my method option one and then break out of it break and now we've got our first case let's do that for the rest of them so if i grab option that will like that and i'll say option two because that's the value from there and now it's going to be option two i've only got an option one and option two method here and here i've got a more fancy pants method i'll show you that one in a sec let's pop back over here and now we should have a bit of a working tabs option one option two and three and four don't have anything at the moment option one and option two do brilliant let's get back inside over here and let's do a case for option three 
Now if option three, I'm going to be a little bit different. Uh, and let's put you over here. So option three is going to say options, and I'm going to pass through some parameters. I'm going to say uh, option three is option three. That's the text, and the type is going to be a message type um, info. Anyway, warning. We'll do a warning for option three and option four. Don't forget, we need to break out of that, otherwise he'll be upset. And option four is going to be very similar. And we're going to say four, and it's going to be none, just to be different. And save. So now we've got our tab. So over here, we were making sure that something was selected, so it's greater than the default value. If you want your default value to be zero, just change that to be zero, and then you'll be the first one. Or if you want the default one to be the third option, don't forget that your array will always start at a zero. So zero, one, two, three. So if you had four, we'd have an error. So over here, you can even put if uh, it's equal to or greater than that, or M tabs selected is less than M tabs length. Now um, the length is one, two, three, four. So it's less than. You can't say equal to or less than because you've got to make sure it's less than the total number. Because if you've selected three, that's the third option of a four length array. I know. Always fun. Isn't it always fun? Okay, now let's go back into Unity. Bum, 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 bum. And option three works, option four works, one and two work as well. And that's it, that's our tab. Now, if you want to be super fancy pants, you can just change this toolbar to be a selection grid. And selection grid also cares about how many columns. So we're going to say one column and back into Unity. Dun, dun, dun. Now it's one column. If we go and say two columns, because we've got four, it'll be a nice little box. There we go. One, two, three, four. And that's a selection grid. So sometimes you need a selection grid, and sometimes you need just a toolbar. Gonna take you to the toolbar. The toolbar. Well, that's it. Don't forget, the toolbar doesn't actually care how many columns you've got. If that helped anyone, then I'm very excited and thankful that it was able to help someone if it hasn't helped anyone at least it's distracted me for a few minutes on youtube so if you like these videos want to see more click on that big juicy red button down below to all of your friends random people on the street that messy code sometimes does a helpful vid if you do like it click it till next time if you want to see more of my crazy videos click on the left side of your screen now and down below there's that big juicy subscribe button and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it it will tell you if i've got a new video coming out until next time.